and I got some great photographs back in 2004, which is about the time I started this sculpture. Uh, that's, that's how old this clay is. I think what sparked the beginning of this sculpture was the fact that I went to a buffalo hunt and uh, over in the Ruby Valley, which is uh, just over the mountain from here, actually up over the hills from here. Anyway, let me get the pictures here. This is the leg of the buffalo, and they had it strung up, the buffalo, and they were skinning it. And this is actually the leg after they skin it. And this is the uh, back legs and the hip area all skinned out. And that helps me see the muscles a little bit and the tendons. Um, this is uh, another picture showing uh, the back legs. And uh, what gives me uh, good pictures of the, uh, it gives me good pictures of the uh, hoofs, which you can't normally see in a photograph of a buffalo because they're usually in grass. So that's going to be helpful. This is the front leg of the buffalo, and you can see the heavy fur on the back of the front leg, but you see the dew claws here in the bottom of the hoof. Uh, very helpful when you're sculpting a buffalo. And here's the uh, buffalo, uh, the front leg, legs and shoulder of the uh, fur, and the fur. The fur was uh, in the fall, uh, not fall, spring. Uh, the it was losing its uh, winter fur. Probably not the best time to be hunting a buffalo because that fur isn't the best fur if you're going to keep the fur. Anyway, um, <coughs> this is the uh, front leg inside of the leg, looking at it and uh, all skinned out. And uh, again, the uh, the hoof is shown very well here with the dew claws. That's real helpful in sculpting when you're sculpting a buffalo. And of course, uh, the buffalo skeleton drawings. That's a picture of a buffalo that I took uh, on the road uh, in Yellowstone Park several years ago. This is, I think, a picture I got off the web of a buffalo, which helps me with the face, and that's up again. This is a picture I took uh, on a Ted Turner's ranch just a few miles from my house. He raises buffalo to uh, slaughter, is what he does. Now I noticed one thing, there's a heavy bit amount of fur right down here. And uh, so I'm going to have to look at doing that. That's a trim buffalo, by the way. That's a real trim buffalo. Instead of uh, sculpting two separate hooves, I'm just going to sculpt one and uh, put the separation in it. I'm going to heat up the uh, 
armature so that the clay will melt onto it and stick to it. That's interesting. I hit that uh, old clay with the uh, flame and it softened it up. How about that? Well, I cut away a little bit. I thought the camera was on, but it wasn't. Uh, found out one thing, though. The uh, inside of the buffalo, I thought it was wax, but it's actually... I made a foam uh, structure on the inside for the uh, buffalo. How about that? how I started this thing. Well, it's, it's been, uh, oh gosh, 15 years since I started this thing, or thereabouts. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's try to cut that. I cut too much away. I can always fill it in with some more, some new clay. So, not worried about how much I cut away.
what I'm doing, I'm just experimenting with texture. I've got a serrated edged uh, wire tool here and just seeing how it looks when I go over the clay with it. Like I said, I want to have a rough texture. I don't want a smooth one. And uh, I'm going to be experimenting with uh, textures, I guess, for a while. Is, uh, Alright, uh, we'll pick this up next week. I've had it. It sure looks better than the way I started with it. I'm not a philosopher. I am a sculptor. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.